Hello everyone, welcome back to Hot Line Topics. The Fuji Maestro was in the Marshall and his new wife are sparking reactions on social media platforms as she did this today. As the data reported, the Maigo of Yoruba Land and the King of Fuji Music was here in the Omobola, popularly called K1, Okwaman, has taken a new bride, Emanuela Roku, and this Fuji Maestro took to his official social media platform to share a beautiful picture of his new wife which was accompanied by a romantic caption this was a while ago. This act confirmed the news circulating around the internet. But before it was confirmed, a popular blog on Instagram, Just Love Is, so weeks before then, had alleged that the legendary Fuji icon got married to Emanuela in a private ceremony, which was indirectly confirmed by his Canada-based friend, Bolaji Basia, after sharing their pictures on this page. Emanuela Ropo has been said to be the person behind party dreams and events and children's gift outfit in Ujudu, part of the ghost state. She's also an Eba chief. She's the Otun Yalodi of Ibein in Abiokuta. And her late father, Chief Stephen Boyega, or Debbie, was a respected Eba chief. He was also a strong member of the Catholic food in Abiokuta Ogun state. And what really got Nigerians talking was the fact that Wasiwa Indimash already married another woman, Titi Masha legally just some years ago and today this couple got a lot of nigerians talking as emmanuel posted a photo of washia and yudi marshall back in an artwork and she captioned this but i had to bleed love for you and it forced my entire being i had the idea it's about what you could be but you shattered those notions and replaced them with a reality beyond my wildest dreams men like you are not to be found anymore I managed to win both my heart and my soul, Basu and Yide Marshall. This was what she shared on her official social media platform. And a lot of Nigerians are reacting to this short piece of Emanuela, maintaining on their display of love and their union. And some people are even writing that the writer was so emotional and touchy. For those who may ask, who is Basu and Yide Marshall? Or who is Kwamon? Please stay with us for a short but interesting biography. Of this Fuji Maestro, Wasio Inde Marshall. His full name is Olasukomi Wasio Inde Adewale Omobela Anifuoshi, but then he's popularly called K1 or Kwamon. We're talking about where and when he was born. He was born on March 3rd in 1957 in Nagarawu, part of Lagos State, but then he's a native of Ogun State. His father is an indigene of Ijebode in Ogun State, and his mother is from Ilupeju in Ondo State. He discovered his interest in music at the tender age of eight. And his interest was not initially accepted by his parents, but then he continued to pursue his passion. At the age of 15, he won several local musical competitions. In 1975, he became a member of a Hindi barrister's band, the Supreme Fuji Commanders. In 1971, K1 released his first solo album titled About the America. In 1984, his most successful album, Talazo 84, was released. And that album became an instant hit, introducing a new turbo child style of music that became wildly popular as the Talazoo system. That same year, Washia and Marshall made a global tour around North America and Europe, which became a good tradition repeatedly and only. K1 was crowned the king of Fuji music in the year 1994. This was when he also obtained a new name, official name, and added Washu and Marshall. Over the years, he has received a lot of awards and nominations and several recognitions, including the Fame Musician of the Year, Best Fuji Artist at the Nigerian Music Awards, Best African Artist at the Womad Festival in Readings in 1996, the Hedis Hall of Fame Award in 2013. He was also granted the title Ulomo Golden Child by the King of Lagos, King Adeyinka Uyikonsu. Some of his recorded albums over the years include Vivid Imagination, Aridi De Lekwayo, Salazu, Uridugu, Omo Naija, Wontunno, Aye, Ultimate Medley, Ijebu Fubo Shiri Medley, Sun Sun, Canada 98, Eyo, Mashote, Consolidation, The Ultimate, Fuji Collection Series, and Reading Come, just to mention a few of them. It's known to combine Juju, Apala, Yoruba Blues, and other styles and genres. He's a well-known artist and significantly developed the Fuji music style. He has incorporated some Western instruments, including the keyboards, saxophone, and electric guitar. He's a renowned artist who has expanded his music 
vocabulary to include rock, funk, and hip hop influences. While at the beginning of his career, he basically sang Quranic chants and raps. As regards his personal life, his personal life has been a subject of interest. As in total, he has about 38 children. His youngest child was born in 2013 by Titi Masha, and some of his other daughters include Fatia Whitney and Jola Oluwa Masha, Wasilat, Olarunke, and Shabia Ide, Hidayat, Obolaji, and Nifugushi. His daughter Hidayat got married on 4th of March in 2014. Hidayat, Obolaji, and Nifugushi, and the Olali wedding ceremony was thrown in Wasilat in this house at Djibouti. Many political figures, famous musicians, and film stars attended that ceremony. Kwamwan is a self-confessed polygamist. As I being the father of 38 children, this musician also has several wives who bore him kids. Even though he has not married all of them legally. His last wife before this is nearest wife, Titi Masha, whose name is Fetia Okweyemi, got married to Kwamwan and they already had three lovely kids. They got married in March 2018. This was when he celebrated the 61st birthday and the event was held at Kwamwan's home in Ijebudi, part of Ogun State. The home is called Ujushagbala Kasu. The story of those two started a long time ago. They met in 2001 at one of his shows. And yes, he described himself as King Solomon in the Bible, who had 700 wives and 300 concubines. And when the music icon was asked questions, if he was afraid of the heavy war amongst his family members when he's gone to the better world, he had this to say. When King Solomon the Bible died, there was no issue among his wives and children. If it didn't happen at the time of Solomon, it will not happen in my time. How many kids do I even have? How many women have I known? There are so many people out there who even have more than we can ever think of. It is on the record that Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. If somebody like Solomon wasn't crucified during his time, why do you have to talk about me? How many women have I ever touched? How many children do I have? Before you talk about me, let people talk about King Solomon. So this is a little bit about Kwamwan. We have come to the end of this episode where Kwamwan and his wife sparked massive reaction to their social media platforms as his wife did this and shared this episode on her social media platform. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let us know. Turn you can subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.